So here is the Demon FX Precision Drive. It's a Chinese copy, clone, knockoff, ripoff, whatever you want to call it, of the Horizon Devices Precision Drive that's built by MXR. This is $60. I got mine from a Canadian store. They shipped it here in three days, so get on them. <clears throat> it's going into the front of my PV2XL. We're currently on the Channel 2, which is the lead channel on the British setting. I have a Vintage Boss GE7 in the loop. Just to make the tone a little bit darker because, you know, bright cabinet, bright guitar, bright amp, etc, etc. This is the quote-unquote bass tone. Keep it noted that I have my Projack G Decimator uh, channel 1 turned off so you can see how good the skate is. Spoiler alert, it's not. But we'll see that in a second. <clears throat> Here is the pedal. Actually, I'll do this first. So it sounds pretty decent. Now, here is with the gate all the way up. <clears throat> I think that's not too terrible, considering, you know, it's going for high gain tone, but in reality, that's with the drive almost off, and this is a low to medium gain channel, so let's actually boost it into something that's not generic territory. <laughs> With the gate on max it still leaves a really lovely artifact so i'm going to turn that down and turn back on channel one of the pro rack g to be fair i've heard the exact same complaint on the real uh, precision drive that the gate is just borderline useless so I guess in that sense this is a pretty good copy of that circuit <clears throat> yeah. the um, attack mode is really interesting because it's not a normal potentiometer where it's just you know free moving free moving it's actually kind of in settings and the higher up it is the brighter and the less gain you get. So the higher up you turn this, the more generic you sound. So I keep that fairly low. I have it on maybe the first settings because a little bit of genericness doesn't hurt. go to the ultra channel on the modern setting which is basically just every amount of gain known to mankind <laughs>
that's the amp by itself, by the way. <clears throat> now we'll activate the precision drive, and I'm not going to need anywhere, anywhere as much frontal gain, so now we're just using this as a clean boost. <laughs> devices position drive i'll just call that the original i'll call this the fucking knockoff the original is marketed towards you know seven eight nine ten string players you know guys who only know how to riff on one string and it's really meant to cut out a ton of blow end because you know when you're playing that low you're basically just playing through a fucking distorted bass but <clears throat> i will give this credit that this does sound good for a normal six string this isn't just in d standard and it's not, you know, sucking out so much fucking bottom and that it just sounded like I'm playing through a tin can. <laughs> now, do I know if this is the exact one-to-one -one clone of the original? No. I'm not spending $200 on a pedal. I might be able to get one into A, B it. We'll see. But for a $60 pedal that I got in three days from another country, technically, because it came from Canada, East Coast Canada, too, uh, I'd say it's worth it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 